what's going on guys it's been over a year since i've posted a video i've been working on things let me just give you a little explanation and then we're going to talk about this and all the things that i've done to it and how you can do this to your gun too so the last video that i posted was about this airsoft sniper and a part that i was going to have made so this little part makes the Novridge and hpa bolt uh, from Wolverine compatible together. The Novridge full thrust system, you just get a regular nozzle, but then on the HPA bolts, you have this longer nozzle that has a long tube on it. I decided to make one that does both. So if you wanna use HPA, you can use the 0.62 gram BBs, which is very nice when you're in a windy area. So I posted a video talking about this. This, for the longest time, has given me so much stress, uh, but just wanna let y'all know that I have a whole bunch made. <laughs> so for all the people that have been asking, I will be selling these now. Now for the next thing that I've been working on, this shirt that I'm wearing, I started an airsoft company. So for the past few months, I have been working on renovating a building and also working with a whole bunch of manufacturers. Uh, I just wanna give a special thanks to Novridge. Uh, their company has been an absolute delight to work with. Um, it's, it's been an interesting road. So I decided to start my own airsoft company just because I wanna provide the players with cool things. Uh, so all the stuff that I've made, I want you guys to be able to use that too. So it's not just me having all the fun because it was very nice to have the only sniper rifle with the HPA tank in the stock and also full thrust and uh, HPA. It, it's, it's a monster of a, a sniper rifle. I wasn't gonna sell these until I actually tested it a lot just to make sure that this was worth it. So I've, I've been working on airsoft stuff for a while. I will be selling these tanks, which you can no longer buy in the United States. Uh, I have them now. I've manufactured them and they are DOT certified, which this tank is not. And I spent $90 on it. Let's go ahead and talk about this gun. So the manufacturer of this tank, they actually stopped selling them um, just because it was a very low volume tank and everybody was switching to like 10 cubic or 13 cubic inch. So these little nine cubic inch tanks became irrelevant basically. So when I was putting all this together, I believe I bought the last one. Then I was like, well, I wanna be able to make another one because a lot of you have requested I make a video on how I did this. I went through a million HPA tanks, uh, just trying to find the right one that would fit in there. I found another one uh, it's by Max Track. They sold them for $80 a tank. Came with a regulator. Uh, I thought that was a little expensive. I went on a hunt and I got in contact with the tank manufacturer. So I have a whole bunch of DOT certified eight cubic inch tanks and I will use the first strike regulator because that is the only way that you are going to be able to fit an HBA tank, a regulator, and then another regulator in here. So let's talk about this. So this is a nine cubic inch tank, 3000 PSI. It has a first strike uh, regulator on it. And then the Wolverine Storm original regulator. All right, let's talk about how I cut this. So I knew the dimensions of the bottle and I literally just got a piece of paper and just trace the bottom of the bottle and then also the butt pad. And I'll show you that piece of paper, let me grab that. So I literally just got a piece of paper, put the butt pad on there and trace that and then put the bottle in the center and trace that. So I knew where I needed to cut it. So I used a saw to cut straight lines into it and then I used a Dremel tool to kind of cut around the edge. And as you can see right here, I made some mistakes. To get the tank out, I used the butt pad to hold it in place. So as you can see, that's as far as that I can go. Then you have the tank, the small little regulator on here, the first strike regulator, and then the Wolverine Storm original regulator with no gauge and then a 90 degree elbow right here with the quick disconnect. The wiring is just run through the hole that's already in the stock. The hardest part 
is just cutting it to fit the proper size. Now this was my first attempt, so I used some body filler in order to fix some of my mistakes because I wanted it to be as snug as possible in here. So when the tank fits in, this is very tight right here, so I had to shave off some material in order for this to fit in here. The stock is very thin right in this area just because of the burst discs. So once that fits in there, I use the body filler to make it seem more flush. Now with my new tank, it's a little bit smaller, so you're not gonna have to make as many drastic cuts. Now all the regulators that are on the market today, they're too big. So that's why the Mancraft MMR is the better option. Not only is the Mancraft MMR as thin as the Wolverine Storm, it also is smaller. So you will not have to drill as far and risk drilling into the side of the, the stock like I did. Now, in order for me to fit this regulator past right here, um, the stock kind of thins out as it gets to this point right here. The regulator will fit to about right here, but then I needed to go just a little bit further. So I got a 28 millimeter diamond hole cutting bit that fits the tip end of this regulator. I got a drill and I just drilled in here. So in, in the inside I have a uh, 90 degree elbow that can turn on a quick disconnect so I can quickly remove the line here. So let's say I want to put the full thrust system on here. I just have to unscrew the Wolverine bolt piece right here. This is the quick pull spring mod. So let's just say I want to switch it out for my full thrust piece. We're going to go ahead and put this on. And that's it. And now it still retains the quick pull mod. Because without it, it just moves free. I will be selling the 90 degree elbows the quick pull spring, and the full thrust to HPA adapter piece. One thing in the news, if you don't know, that uh, Mancraft's entire shop was destroyed recently. Before their store was destroyed, I purchased a bunch of these. So I'm pretty sure I have the only stock in the United States right now. If you have these laying around, I'm gonna sell the, the kits for everything, uh, but also sell individual products. So if you don't wanna spend all the money and you already have one of these or uh, one of these regulators um, you can just buy the bottle if you wanted to or if you want to buy the bottle and the regulator you can I just want everybody to be able to choose and choose what they need then for the rest of the gun I have the Tritos TDC hop up and then I have the Novridge barrel on here and then the Novridge suppressor the internals I have an Action Army hop up and then a Action Army Barrel. So I have the full thrust system, the BBs, the magazines, and the speed loaders in my store, uh, just so you have convenience. So if you're wanting to buy one of these and then buy something else, I have that in my store just out of convenience. Uh, the only thing I don't have is the Wolverine bolts. I'm still working with Wolverine. I'm at the very last steps, uh, but I'll have those very soon. So if you're very interested in picking one of these up, or if you have no idea what I'm talking about, just go look at my last video. I will link it down in the description. So this is the building that I've been working on for a very long time. I have a whole bunch of inventory here. I have Novridge stuff that I'm gonna be packaging up. I'm putting my logo on the bottles some things that you'll be seeing very soon. There's still a bunch of things that I still have to do in here. It is still a work in progress, but by the time that you're seeing this video, everything in here will be done. So everything that you buy in my store, you will get entered in to win an airsoft gun. So it could be a patch that you spend $2 on. You could get entered in for a hundred entries. So it's gonna be the ANK ACR for the first airsoft gun giveaway that we're gonna be doing. Everything for the rules, no purchase necessary, uh, how to do all that is all on my website. You can go check that out. The winner will be contacted when the drawing ends within 24 hours, and then I'll ship that gun to you. And you have to be over 18 in order to get it. So definitely go check out the website. Thank you guys so much for being in this journey that I've been doing for the past 10 years, and now I'm here. Definitely go check out the website. I would really appreciate it. And thank you again.